show. Hi, Stephen. Welcome Hello. to Yarn on the House. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So um, you are our fabulous guest today. And why don't you tell the viewers what you do and what you're all about? Sure. Uh, I am a knitter uh, and I uh, design patterns. Um, uh, I just started designing patterns mostly in the last year. And um, it's, I've been working more and more on it. And it uh, finally culminated into a little collection that I just released, uh, West Knits Book One. And uh, I keep, um, I document all my patterns and I share them on Ravelry. And I have a new website too, uh, westknits.com. Uh, I just moved from my old blogspot address. So now I have a, a new website that has my blog and all the patterns and events and everything, information all in one place. Yes. Uh, the so designing yeah, design is very nice. It's, I was looking at it just the other day. So it looks very cool. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Uh, a couple friends um, back from uh, where I just moved from. I'm in Amsterdam now, and I just came from Urbana, Illinois. And so a couple friends back in Urbana helped me, uh, one with the graphic design of the book and the layout and the logo, and another friend with the web design. And they were both amazing, creative people, and um, it was a really good collaboration. Yeah, it looks really good. I love when you go to your site, you have the um, little graphics at the top where it changes from the different shawls and stuff, and you can tell which ones they are. Yeah, that's, yeah my friend Dory came up with that. I didn't even ask her Excellent. to do that. She I just, loved it. Yeah. It made me yeah. smile because every time I'd click on a different page, there'd be a different one of your patterns in mm -hmm. a drawing style across the top. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I'm like, oh, look, there's Daybreak, and there's, <laughs> you know. <laughs> So that's a lot of fun. Um, so you just recently released the Westnet Book One collection. Yeah. So this tell us a little bit about the patterns in that collection and where your inspiration comes from and stuff. Yeah, uh, the book is eight new patterns. They're all accessories. Um, five shawls, scarves, wraps, and three hats. And one of the patterns I released a few months ago, Pagona, um, a shawl that has a big arched shape with uh, several increases that really um, give a lot of uh, fab extra fabric to the piece, so it uh, drapes really nicely. Um, uh, so that was the first one that I shared, and then I shared the rest. Um, I released them all together earlier this month, um, and it's a PDF download that you can get on Ravelry, and it's also a, a print. You can get a print version. Okay. I have uh, my distributor is Deep South Fibers, and they send the uh, the print books to yarn shops Got every it. Week. so I think uh, a lot of people in the states could find it at their local yarn store. Uh, they should be receiving those if not now, very very soon. They're okay. they should be out in the mail right now. Yeah, because you just recently, really recently, came out with it, right? Yeah, Maybe yeah, a week it's or two brand ago. Brand yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. The response has been good. You have lots of hearts on Ravelry. <laughs> yeah, I love all parts of hearing the feedback from people, and it's always interesting to hear uh, the like what knitters respond to which patterns. Yeah. And sometimes I'm surprised. I'm really in love with something personally mm -hmm. that I love to wear and I loved working on, mm -hmm. um, and some that I think are more simple, and yeah. I'm not as Attached. I love that I don't love as much, <laughs> but other right. people really right. take towards them. So I love seeing the response. Yeah. And then yeah, watching people pick the yarn. That That's, must be lots I, of fun. And then seeing different versions of your pattern be knit up and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I love seeing all the pictures pop up on Ravelry. and That's the most uh, gratifying part of designing, is to see what I've been working on and what I love to do in the hands of other people, mm -hmm. and to see that um, they're responding to what I like to do. And yeah, so that's exactly. Really nice. That's awesome. It must be a good feeling. Mm -hmm. So your design process, um, you're a young guy, so I'm sure you're on the move all the time. Yeah, so I'm pretty you, busy how you, now. How do you design a pattern? How do you get the time? Do you have a routine? Do you just do it on the go? <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty much, yeah, kind of on the go. Um, I don't have um, a standard process that I go by. It's always different. Uh, sometimes I start with an idea, like a piece that I want to wear, like a certain style of scarf or a certain kind of hat that I want to wear, <laughs> and so I'll make it. Mm -hmm. um, other times, I, I usually um, start with a yarn. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I love, love all the different 
uh, fibers and hand dyers and different yarn companies. Um, and I'm really inspired by color and texture and just the basic yarn. And then I usually let that tell me kind of what it wants to be. And I have a little sketchbook too. So sometimes I'll oh, write cool. mm -hmm. all little <laughs> shapes and kind of mess with things. But most of the time the designing actually happens as I go. Right. And I'll make something and it won't work out and I get another idea. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I'm surprised that I just go for something, just some idea and just uh, knit with the yarn I love. And sometimes it turns out. A-OK, like, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm so, that's not <laughs> how it usually goes. Do you have goes. any patterns that started as like a completely different object and then ended up being what they were? Yeah, let's see. I put you on the spot here. You weren't ready for this one. <laughs> one of those, I think Flamboyant okay. is a, a shawl. Mm -hmm. uh, the first version I knit with a super bulky yarn. Oh, okay. A really, a really thick yarn in three colors. Oh. And um, it was a different shape. It had different color blocks, different locations of increases. Uh, it was a little too complicated for my taste, so I just <laughs> simplified it and did the triangular shape yeah. and uh, played with the uh, intarsia, basic intarsia yeah. in the center and uh, kind of refined it, uh, brought it down and refined it into what it ended up being, which is a more simple, simple shape. You're really good at that. You have very beautiful, simple designs, but they're still really um, neat to look at because of the shape and structure. It's not just traditional. You don't have just traditional triangle shawls all the time. You put your yeah. creases in different sections and really shape them. And then, yeah, I really love that about your designs. Very modern, very hip, very young. It's good. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I, I hope it reflects uh, what I like. Um, I like playing with simple stitches, mm -hmm. like garter stitch and stockinette, yes. and I like mindless knitting where once I go, I can figure out a row or two rows and just repeat and take it with me on the go. Because right. most of the knitting I do now is you know, sometimes in the evenings at home, but usually out about in the city when yeah. I have breaks yeah. classes, knitting with the local knitting group. Um, and then, so I use simple stitches and play with the structure of the actual shape and play with different colors to get a unique look. Yeah, that's really great. I love that. So, mm -hmm. okay, so uh, for budding new designers out there, what, do you have any piece of advice or what's your one piece of advice? Uh, something that's helped me the most is actually writing down or typing as I knit. Okay. I, used, I used to create something and maybe not know it was a design, but just knit something I wanted to make. And then later I would go back and try to figure out what I did. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, or maybe I'd make some like chicken scratch notes and my handwriting is terrible. So I have to <laughs> figure out like, what, what does this mean? Or I don't know, sometimes maybe I'd be falling asleep as I was like yeah. writing. <laughs> it was completely incomprehensible. So now I'm a stickler. I really, when I'm coming up with a new idea, even if it's not final, um, I'll type it out on oh, my computer. Good. So that, that's that a very helps. good. That's a very good point. Yeah, it's a time saver, definitely. Yeah. yeah. 